Where's the beer? Whose blind life is it anyway? In association with Sterling Creations and VIP Tech Productions present Ask Donna. Donna Jordan answers your questions and offers you tips and tricks on being an author, an expert, sight loss coach, and an advocate. Ask Donna, the advocate. Greetings, everybody. My name is Donna Jordan. And this is my first episode under the Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway Network. I'd like to thank my good friend and associate Victor Gouvier for having given me the opportunity to be with you every week. Well, you know, I'm going to try and make my weekly episodes with you ones that are interesting, informative, and entertaining. I will be wearing a different hat every week, and for this week, my hat will be that as an advocate. And in the following weeks, I could come to you under the hats of an author, a coach, or an expert. So for this week, let's talk about, or talk a bit about advocacy. What exactly is advocacy? And for this, I will tell you that advocacy is something where we try to identify our rights, what they are, when they are, why they are, and who have rights. These are all questions that are very, very important for us to be able to answer. But don't worry, I will help you to identify your rights under these questions every time we talk about advocacy. For this week, I want to think, would like you to think about this. What are my rights? Well, my rights are those that occur under the Canadian Charter of Rights. And that's a very lengthy document for you to look at. But you know what? We can talk about this in other uh, follow-ups and go from there. But for today, here is my formula for identifying rights. When do I have a right? Well, here is my formula. If I pay my bills every month, and paid on time, then I have a right to receive equal access to all services, products, and information that every other Canadian has. That is, as a blind and vision impaired person, my rights are as equal as anybody else's rights. The second part of my formula is this. If I pay my taxes to the government, whether it's provincial or federal, then I also have rights. Think about this. If I didn't pay my taxes, guess who would come after me in a jiffy? Yep, it would be either the federal or provincial government that would come after me. In the same light, think of if I didn't pay my bills on time, guess who would come after me in a hurry? Absolutely. It would be those telecommunications companies that would come after me, the utilities companies that would come after me, such as cable companies, internet companies, TV companies, right? So, you know, if I pay my bills on time and if I pay my taxes on time, then certainly... I have rights to demand that services, products, and information be made equally accessible to me as a blind Canadian as it is for any 
other mainstream Canadians. Let's just keep that in mind. Folks, if you'd like to learn more about me as an advocate, please visit www.sterlingcreations.ca slash news.html That is www.sterlingcreations.ca T I O N S dot C E slash N E W S dot H T M L. Okay, and you can read more about me as um, an advocate, an active advocate. I will tell you that in 2010, I led a team that took the federal government to court over their inaccessible websites. We won our case handsomely, but the government took us to the Court of Appeal, and we again won our case handsomely. So, I like to think of myself as someone who really wants to advocate for us, but most importantly, for the kids of the future. It is very important that we give them an opportunity to have a better future than we do. All right, this is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed my um, my little piece on advocacy. And if you want to contact me, you can do so by sending me an email at donnajodhan at gmail.com. That is D-O-N-N-A-J-O-D-H-A-N at gmail.com. Or you can give me a dingle at 416-491-7711. Have a great week, everyone. And thank you again to Victor Guvia for having given me the chance to be with you. Bye for now and see you next week. Tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific for Ask Donna, on whose blind life is it anyway?